Good morning, girls. I'm a little late today. I had company all morning. I went thrifting yesterday, and I had the shakes. So I only had one bind. I found this blouse. I'll show it to you. i show you my new blouse. My stomach's going down a little bit more. And I bought me a cheeseburger yesterday. You girls will be proud. I gave it to Sassy. Well, I wouldn't have gave it to Sassy except it was uh, soggy. You can't do a soggy cheeseburger. Okay, I really like this um, espresso uh, eyeliner yesterday, so I'm going to use it again. I'm trying to get to a more natural look, and I know that black is way too dark. Oh, girls. I was on my phone all afternoon. First off, I was looking up that, um, I don't know why. It came on the screen, Salem Witch Trials. So, so I was reading about all that, and well, finally, a scientist figured out what caused those girls to act like that. It was uh, that that year they had rain, and the rain fell on their uh, rye. Well, rye is in LSD. So they were tripping. They weren't really witches. It took them all them years to figure it out. But this one woman... She figured it out. It was rye. Poor girls. I didn't know rye, but well, I don't know anything about LSD, but you'd be surprised what causes things. And I washed and conditioned my hair yesterday. So then, I started reading about the P. Diddy. Well, girls, the man is um, worse than ever. I wish I hadn't read it. Okay, so he started out, he was born in um, Harlem. Now, his father had a job, and his father always wanted them to have better. Because we always, we all do. But, uh, so he had a job, but he also, you know, worked on the streets. Well, he died. I don't know if he got killed or if, if he died. So, but he, Diddy was very smart. A genius. Still is. You'd have to be to pull off all the shenanigans he's pulled off. But, uh, so she moved him to a better part of New York, up from the Bronx. Well, he went to college, he did real good. He went to college, he started college, and somehow, oh, he was always into music and stuff. And he was having parties at the college, and pretty soon celebrities were wanting him to throw parties. And he did. Well, so then this record company, let's see, I think it was Arista Records, the guy got a hold to him and offered him a job. Well, the guy was gay. And he took advantage of Diddy Offered him big deals and this and that. Well, finally, he made him the um, the top thing. And, you know, he was doing, Diddy was doing favors, you know, sexual favors. Well, so then the, this other guy, well, that guy got his own company. And, uh...
this other guy got his own company. And so, Diddy went to work for him. I think. Anyway, he moved on up the ladder. He was top dog and this and that. And he got famous and made a lot of money. <clears throat> and, um... Uh, so then he started abusing people. If you do this, then I'll do this for you. I'll get you a record deal. I'll do all these things. I'm using the Professional Mirage palette. Anyway. I mean, it, it went in... And I'll watch videos and everything. I've really researched it. I know what I'm talking about today. <laughs> so anyway. So he got on up there and he got a lot of people. He had a lot of people and they were famous. and so. But they had to do sexual favors for him to climb up the ladder. And still all along the way he was, he was having these parties. And, uh, I really do think, a lot of people think it, when Tupac got shot, Diddy was there. When, um, uh, Vicki Smalls got shot, Diddy was there. And Diddy had J-Lo carry his gun into the club in her purse and when they got in the club and stuff started, he bumped into somebody. And um, that person was a big gangster guy. And, well, so they got into it. Well, so there was a shooting and three people got shot. It was a mess. One woman got shot in the nose. Well, they say did he did it. But he got this other guy that was with them. Somehow that guy got charged with everything. Even though they found a gun and did the scar. They stopped Diddy and J-Lo. They both went to jail. And but they got away, Scott Free. But the other guy he didn't what was his name? Shine. His name was Shine. Well he went to jail for nine years for that. And I think he was completely innocent. I'm not sure. But anyway, so for our transition color, let's get some bright colors. Come on. Let's use this. They're only numbered that don't have the names. Anyway, so that guy went to jail for nine years over that. But they say he made a lot of money. So I don't know. Well, so then years drag on and he starts having all these parties and he's rich and famous and he's a billionaire and all kinds of celebrities are coming to these parties. It's, it's, they're not through. There's a whole lot of people going to be dragged into this. Well, I have this one girlfriend. Her name was... Uh, Kim. Now, Kim was beautiful. But she's the one that said, he's gay. She found, she figured it out real quick. He's gay. Because what he wants, she, he want her to do to him. I can't say it on YouTube, girl. She's going to have to look it up. Sickening. But she stayed with him. She didn't really want to. She was afraid of him. He threatened her and all kinds of stuff. And so she got into this swapping stuff with him. Well, Jada Pinkett Smith was involved, and uh, Will Smith was involved, and a whole bunch of other people. Usher. What's his name? Jason Bieber. They're, they know they don't know for sure, but they think maybe. The, he might have either did or tried to mess with those two because uh, Usher's 
spent a year with Diddy to learn, you know, the trade, uh, everything to do. And then Justin Bieber stayed with him on and off for a while. And for his uh, 16th birthday, he brought him, he bought him a Lamborghini. There you go. So I, I don't know what all went on there. So in our crease, In our crease, we're going to use something darker. Let's use this uh, brown down here. Right here. So, anyway, they say Jay Z's involved. And we haven't seen the half of this mess. That guy, he's never getting out of prison. Never. Anyway, so this Kim woman, he loved her. He didn't want to let her go, but he was gay. And she uh, finally left him once. Well, first off, she uh, had a business. She was an actress. She had a meeting with this producer. Well, he, you know, he sent her flowers because the meeting went so well, and he had another movie coming up, and he wanted her to be in it. Well, did he saw the flowers? Well, he beat the crap out of her and told her she was his. That was it. Even though he's gay. <laughs> I don't understand. But anyway, so this guy comes up dead. So we got Tupac, we got Biggie Smalls, and now we got this guy. Okay, so she's scared, and she goes back to him. And, um, so she gets pregnant. Now, he adopted her son, Quincy. And then she gets pregnant. Well, he told her. She wrote a book. She died before she finished that book. But she wrote enough of it to where they was reading it yesterday, and I watched the whole thing. I listened to the whole thing. And, um... So, she gets pregnant, and he said, oh, that's wonderful, because she thought he'd want her to have an abortion, but no. That's wonderful. They'll all want to gangbang you right before you give birth. What? I don't know about all that. Never heard of such a thing in my life. Okay, so in the, uh, all over the lid, we are going to use this color right here. I don't know if it'll show up or not, but... We're going to use it. Anyway, so they did that. Well, then she had another trial. Same thing. Well, so finally she says she knows she has to get away from it. She has to. So she left. And this time she got a boyfriend. Well, he comes up dead. So, okay, now we're at four. Okay, so she goes back to him. She's scared again. So she goes back to him. And she knows that her kids are getting up there in age. And she's got to stop this sexual stuff. They're old enough to know what's going on. And she doesn't know how to get away from him. So what she would do is after those wild parties and he would drink too much and he would pass completely out, when he would pass out, she would get in his closet where he kept the guns, all kinds of nasty stuff, and videos. He said he had videos of everything since 1980-something. Everybody and everything. Well, by this time, she didn't care. She wanted out. So she would sneak in there in that closet <clears throat> And she would get those videos and she would take them and copy them and then she would sneak them back in and take more, copy them, sneak them back in. So she's ready to leave him. 
And she has an apartment and everything. And she called him and she said, look, it's over. There was somebody there with her. Mmm. I don't know who's with her. Yes, I do. Peggy Lipton and Quincy Jones had a daughter. She was with her. Well, she was royalty. Uh, they did not want to do nothing to that girl. So, um, she was there. And, uh, he came over there. And he slung her down and he beat on her. She told him, she said, look, I got proof. I've got, the, I've got tapes. And if you do anything to me, they will be released. And I have them. I'll have copies. And I have them up in the cloud. If anything happens, these tapes are going to be released. So, he beat her up, knocked her down the, knocked her down the stairs. And I guess she was unconscious. No, she was unconscious because she woke up and she was in the hospital. We're going to put some shiny right here in the middle. And broken arm, all kinds of stuff wrong with her. And he's there like nothing happened. Well, she's in private hospital, wherever she was, and wherever she was, they couldn't hear what was going on in that room. But he was threatening her and everything else. But she did not, she didn't go back to him that time. After that, it was over. And, uh, but he kept tabs on her the rest of her life. Well, all these people that had died, they had died of pneumonia. I don't know what they did to them, but they had all died of pneumonia. So she's laying up in the bed, and she's writing a book about her time with him. And she was telling it all and giving names and all kinds of stuff. And she's sick, real sick. And so that friend of hers called her, Quincy Jones's daughter. And she said, you're sick? And she, it clicked on her. You need to go to the hospital, get checked out. So she's writing in that book, you know, I may not live through this. It just, it just registered. He may have done something to her. But she died. She never finished that book. She died right there that day, that sentence, the last sentence. So I, I listened to all of it. And, um, yeah, he's a horrible person and he should never be released. Never, but I had to, I had to sit there through it, girls, and listen because I wanted you to know what was going on. Terrible. I believe that he's worse than a mobster. He's heartless. Okay, let's put some eyeliner on, but I'm going to use eyeshadow. I'm going to use eyeshadow, black eyeshadow. Yeah, he's worse than a monster. He's a terrible person. He's demon-possessed. That poor woman, she was so pretty. Okay. But I don't understand why he didn't do something to Jayla. He let her go. But they remain friends. They're still friends till today, I guess. But she was very upset about getting arrested. And uh, she barged into their, their house and she told him, I can't be arrested. I don't like this. You got me arrested now. And I don't want to go to jail for anybody. You know, I had to get my lawyer involved in this. So he told her, don't you worry about a thing. Nothing's going to happen. This will be gone. And it was gone. They never did anything to her. And that other guy went to jail and he took care of everything. It went away. 
Now my eye looks messed up. And when I got up this morning, all I wanted was, there, I fixed it. Good. All I wanted was some cappuccino. So I got my cappuccino machine out. Oh. The eyeliner was CoverGirl Perfect Blend in Espresso. And the eyeshadow was Profusion Mirage Palette. And then I used this LA Colors Matte. What's the name of this? Purple Cashmere. But I only used the black. I used it for the eyeliner. Oh, so, mm -mm. so, so cute. I don't know if y'all know who um, Cat Williams is. I love him. He's a funny little guy. And so they showed all these people. Well, 50 cent. He tried to get 50 cent. Uh, well, you know. Oh, you know that didn't work. He told 50 cent, let me take you shopping. And 50 cent said, oh, no, we ain't done none of that fluffy stuff. I don't know. <laughs> you get away from me. We ain't going there. And then uh, Cat Williams got on TV, and he said, Oh, Diddy wants to party. Y'all got to learn to tell Diddy, oh, no. Don't be partying with Diddy. Don't do it. He's up to no good. And he was. But there's going to be a lot more people. You watch and see. Because when they start watching those tapes, they probably are watch already watching those tapes. Okay, I'm clean under these eyes. Oh, but now that uh, they did this, uh, I think Robin and Cody messed up. Well, I don't know if they messed up, but the real estate company went in there and showed the inside of Robin and Cody's house. Well, the girls, the rest of the women, they didn't know. Cody just keeps telling them, I can't give you any money because I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke. Well, yeah, he's broke. You would, All the expensive stuff in that house, art, Rolex rings, watches, I mean, uh, yeah. He doesn't have any money, but he has assets. Uh, trailers, mo motorhomes, cars. Well, so they're, they've got lawyers now. Janelle even got one. Mary got one. Now, uh, Christine didn't because Christine settled before she left. She took her name off of the property, but she got the money from her house because she had always had it and she bought another house with it. She didn't do like Mary and uh, Marie, Mary and Janelle. They gave Cody and Robin their money from the sale of their house, but Christine didn't. She put it into another house, which is very smart, Christine. I'm not crazy about you, but I don't know why Christine gets on my nerves. But aren't she does? Can't help it. But anyway, now they've got lawyers. So they can't sell that house. I mean, they, they can sell it. But when they sell it, they're gonna, the lawyers are going to step in and say, hey, you owe this and this. They paid this much off their houses, and they gave that money to you. And stupid Robin admitted it on TV. Mm-hmm. This house was meant to be a family home. That means everyone, the family. Okay, Robin, you ain't as slick as you thought you was. You messed up right there. And 
and I didn't know, but Christine's mother was in, I knew that the whole family was in that church, but Christine's mother left too. And then Mary was in that church. Well, I don't know, but Robin was, but she acts like she was. She knows all the rules. Well, I think Mary's having the hardest time with it. Because now she's going to get, she's going to the church to get a spiritual divorce. And that way, she's completely not married to Cody. So Cody doesn't have his place in the kingdom. Sorry, Cody. You don't have your place in the kingdom anymore. Yes, I was on my phone all day. It's just, I'd get over reading one thing and shit. So, oh, I bit myself. Something else would pop up. Oh my God, I got to see what this is. I'm the nosiest person on earth. I finally had to turn the TV off. I can't, I got to, I got to see this. I got to get skip. I've got to know what's going on here. Yeah, so if you cross him, he'll just kill you. Well, we we'll waiting for you in prison. Ever since I quit using that Grande lash, it's just not working. They're not working out anymore. Nope. Oh. Let's try some mascara. better than sex. See if that better than sex won't make them stand up. Come here, my little honeys. Well, it's sticking them up a little bit. Yes, I was going. I was getting on there to see if I could find something about uh, Jeffrey Star. Why well, not Jeffrey Star? James, whatever his name is. And then poof, I got off on all this other stuff. Anyway, my cappuccino machine wouldn't work, so I've got it in there. I've got every part of it soaking in vinegar. Oh, they're not going to work. It's just this eye. Why? It's like the, this eye doesn't have any eyelashes. Well, I'm making a big mess on my eyelid.
those eyelashes are just too short. I'm getting back on the Grande Lash Girls. I can't do it. Okay, that was better than six. And that was Maybelline Sky High Black Eyelash Primer. Now, let's see if I can clean some of that off. Or maybe I can just cover it up. Let's just see what we can do with this. Come here. Pretty good. Okay. Yes, right. All them little witch women got killed. And they weren't even witches. But Janelle is feeling sorry for uh Mary. Mary got screwed. Real bad. Okay, so let's put some pixie under these eyes. And everybody knows that she got screwed worse than the rest of them. And she got made a fool of worse than the rest of them. And I don't know what's happened to Lee. I haven't seen Lee and I haven't seen Marie. I saw Jenny B yesterday, and I haven't seen, oh, it's not Maria, it's Maria, veteran's wife. I haven't seen her. I hope she's not sick. Now, somebody was moving. I don't know who it was. I'm not messing with that. Well, I don't have any mascara on these bottom eyelashes at all. I just want a little bit. Those eyelashes are just, they're not there anymore. It's just gone. And this is Pixie Under Eye Corrector in Brightening Peach. Now we're going to, I really like this elf. Remember this elf was my favorite for a long, long time. And then I started switching around using other things and I hadn't used it in a while. If I used it yesterday, I really liked it. I missed it. I don't like my hands off. Anyway, I really wanted to do some thrifting yesterday, but mm -hmm. I'll start. It. it seemed to have gotten worse when I went out public. So I hopped in my car and I stopped at the Whataburger. They used to have really good hamburgers. Well, it was a good hamburger, but it was, um, it was mushy. We can do the mushy. Okay, let's see if I can, um, uh, not put as much on at one time as I did yesterday. I was sitting here talking, just cramming it all over my face yesterday. You got so how I am. Once I get to talking, it's over. Some people just do, that's all they do on their channel is talk. But then, you know, they plan what they're gonna say. 
I don't know. They have a topic. I don't have a topic. Well, I'll tell you what, that one girl that I watch, I watch her just to get the scoop on the beauty community. Um, what's her name? Jen Love. Now, she, that girl knows how to put a hook in you. Keep you going. I have been three weeks, four weeks, trying to get to what James Charles has done lately. We're getting to, oh, we're out of time. This is your video that's lasting too long. We're going to have to do uh, episode two. Okay, so I'm hooked. I got to watch it. So then we get to episode two. Ah, oh, it's going on too long. They're going to have to do episode three. Well, now I'm waiting for episode six. It's getting to be a little old. Finish the damn story. Don't be getting me a hook. Putting a hook in me. I don't like that crap. One, two, three. That's okay, but six. Well, she's got she's getting them on showers. She's making money. Which, you know, good. I wish I could make it. But okay, we'll finish it off ne the next one. Well, it's still Yeah, and I hurt. Oh, that was Elf Flawless Satin Foundation in Sand. I love this. And now we're going to use Elf 16 Hour Camo Concealer Matte Finish in Medium Peach. Yeah, she's got me hooked. What can I do? Nothing. I have to watch it. But the other day, I started to put on there as a comment. Really? Really? But, but I didn't. Really? We're on uh, episode six of this now? <laughs> but I didn't do it. Because, you know, yep, she got us hooked. We can always change channels and we don't watch it. So what can I do? I gotta watch it. Guess I got it on skip because I'm nosy. But then I think, could I get on YouTube and just Google what what has James Charles done there? But could I go straight to the thing? I, I believe I could. But she knows the build up to what happened. So, and she's talked to people. Now, I think she started out, I think she started out doing makeup. But then she got pretty famous and she, she met all kinds of people. She knows people. But she's doing real good. But please, finish the story this time. This is six. I can't take any more. Well, what's, what's going on here? There. Yeah. All right, let's do some contouring. I don't know, it's just, they're gone, girls. They're just not there. They are just not there. Now we're gonna use W7 Shape and Glow Highlight and Contour Palette. Anyway, uh, and so back to the cappuccino machine. So, I just, that's all I wanted was cappuccino when I woke up. I'm going to use this color right here. And uh, I don't know what's wrong with that. No, no water is coming through there. Oh, did you see that big oof? Get that row of fat right there.
so I just made me some real strong coffee. And then, then Renee called call and she said she's coming over. So, I got a real late start. Today. Well, I think I probably won't make a video tomorrow because we're going to be looking for a uh, washing machine. So, if we get it done in time, I'll do one. But if we don't, I won't. I'm sorry, girls. I need clean clothes. And my washer is not making clean clothes lately. There we go. Now, I really did like this little blush. Put some highlighter on. I got three of these. Which one? It must be this one. Yes. Yes, LSD causes you to turn into a witch. <laughs> You're just a witch. After you, after you do that, what is it? Molded rye. And that is what they used to make LSD. Who knew? Well, they know now. Okay, this is e.l.f. Shimmer Highlighting Powder in the color Sunset Glow. Alright. I'm going to use this blush. And this is uh, Sci8 London Dewy Blush. Gloss glossy Cheek Tint. And it's in Pomegranate. Oh, that's uh, too much. I used to know her. Well, I didn't know her. Watch a uh, content creator, and this is how she would put her blush on. And really, that's perfect. Get right to your cheekbone. Well, that's not perfect. There you go. Okay, let's do, let's blend, because this is a hot mess up here. So I wish they would have some of the trial, but God only knows when that trial is going to start. There's so much. They've got so much evidence, girls. Let's do our eyebrows. Oh, somebody asked about this uh, hairspray. This is Rusk Freezing Spray Humidity Resistant Hairspray. This is so good. Now, my hair is still soft, but it's going to stay all day long. No matter how humid it gets, this is not coming out. Now, you can get this on Amazon for $20 a can. But you can get this on fragrance.com for uh, either $10.89 a can or $11.89 I think it's 11 But I But you have to spend $35 to get a $10 discount. I think that's the way it goes. But anyway, I got three cans for $40. 
This is the best hairspray I've ever used. There you go. Not sponsored. <laughs> you know what ain't sponsored. Nobody sponsored me. I'm going to try to do my eyebrows farther down. I saw this woman yesterday, and she had her eyebrows farther down in here. It really looked good. So let's try it. Um, I'm looking down, but... I can't go any farther down than that. No. Maybe that's not the look for me. It's one of you girls. What's her name? I can't think of her name. She's probably on here saying, where's your video? It's awful late because I always have my video done by 10 o'clock and it's uh, 5 after 12. But I had company. Yeah, some of those people that, that they were mentioning yesterday that has had affairs with Diddy. Girls, I didn't want to hear it. No, no, not him. Oh my God, no, I can't take it. But I'm not surprised with that. Uh, what's her name? Jada. I don't like Jada. She's always saying, well, she was Tupac's girlfriend. Well, I've never heard anybody else say that. He was the love of her life. Well, maybe he was the love of your life, but you wasn't the love of his. I've never heard anybody else say anything like that. So good. I keep up with the news, girls. I keep up with this stuff. And I know what's going on. And she, I don't think that's true. I don't think he was her boyfriend because uh, who was his girlfriend? He did have a girlfriend. He did have a girlfriend. Okay, where is that? I there it is. Okay. Now, yeah, I'm going to have to go back to the Grand Day Lash. I can't stay on this. But I don't get that in, uh, I don't put that way down in there, so it's not going to get in my eye. It's that cream stuff that got in my eyes. No, it's that retin-A that got in my eyes. Okay, what are we going to do now? Look at sticky. This must be my favorite lipstick because it, oh no, 
Phyllis used this wet and wild, rich satin, in buried life. There we go. Bear it love. What's this? Let's powder. I can't believe that all these eyelashes are gone. I still have some over here. I don't know. They're gone. Okay, it's just like that woman that throws the hook in and makes you listen to all her videos all the way through. One day it was over two hours. Oh, there's no telling how much money she made off that. I wish it was me. I'm just getting jealous. Well, I don't think you girls want to listen to me for two hours. My God. I don't want to listen to me for two hours. I, I do get on my own nerves. This is Elf Perfect Finish HD Setting Powder. I do get on my own nerves, girls. Talking too much. Okay, let's knock some of that off. And my sister never has called me back. I left her a message, but she hasn't called me back. She might call me today. I'm just going to give... I don't call her because she didn't answer the phone. It gets on my nerves. I'm not using the way I am. This is Elf Makeup Mist and Set. Try to get it in your face today, Judy. Anyway, Renee knows these, this guy, and she's going to talk to him, see how much you've charged to go ahead and clean that all that tree stuff out of the back. My backyard looks terrible. She said, well, we could do it. Well, yes, we do. Renee, I'm 73 with a bad back. We could rent a chainsaw, but honey, that's like a small tree out there. Mid medium sized tree. We can't do that. I'm not going to ask Renee to do something like that. Okay, girls, that's it. Now you're up on the gossip. I'll try to get some more for you today. Just, you know, I'm not going to leave it alone. I got to figure out what's going on. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Please hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And I think I'll see you tomorrow, but I'm not sure because we're going to go look for a washer. And I have to do it when Renee can get off because when she, when she can get that truck. That's great. If you do that, your uh, lipstick won't get on your teeth. But we have to do it when she can get that truck. Anyway, everything I have on my face will be listed below. We got seven new subscribers yesterday. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Even though I thought it was a horrible video. <laughs> Boring. Anyway, I'll probably see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.